What is going on guys? It is Real Touch GML here back with the second installment for 2D Minecraft tutorial series with Game Maker. And yeah, let's go ahead and just get started right off the bat. We're not going to be doing any of these long intros, which I guess I'm doing right now, but yeah, let's just go ahead and start. So basically what happened in our last tutorial, I'll go ahead and run the game here, is we basically we just did the terrain system. And I mean the terrain system only has two layers and if you will notice I did from the last tutorial change the sprites so I mean I changed the, uh, the grass sprite the dirt and then the stone I don't know I just thought it looked a little bit better but uh, yeah so here we go so here is the basic foundation of our terrain <clears throat> today we're gonna put in water water spawning and we're gonna also be doing a couple uh, glitch fixes all right so first off, what I want to do is I just want to just show you something real quick. Don't do this, but I'm in the mouse left pressed. We're just going to type in instance destroy. So I can so when we click on the dirt, we can destroy it. All right. So let me just show you what happens here. If we click on the dirt right above the stone, there's nothing. I think because I fixed that beforehand. Whoops. Right, let's get rid of that. Actually, you know what? Let's just comment it out. I fixed this before I actually started the tutorial, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you what you should be experiencing. Basically, with the terrain generation system, and okay, so now everything's disappearing. Oh my god, what did I do to the game? I, all right, let me take this out. <laughs> all right, sorry about that. So, this is what you should see you've got the terrain generation system. But now if you if we delete one of the dirt blocks here, you can see there's another stone underneath it. And this only goes for the top layer. So so one above the stone. Alright. Yeah, so there we go. So now how to fix this is we're gonna go into the stone, object stone, in the create event. All we have to say is if place meeting XY object dirt instance destroy. So we're just gonna destroy the dirt if it comes or we're gonna destroy the stone if it comes in contact with the dirt so now there's no top layer there so that's how to fix that uh, you could mess with the terrain generation system that's fine but uh, I don't know I just thought this way would be a little bit easier all right so let's go ahead and add water in so if you watched the last pro you would know that basically if we get something here like this, there would actually be stone spawning above the the uh, spawning above the grass here. All right, and we fix that by saying if the yy was greater than the alternate height. But what if it's not greater than the alternate height? Then what we're doing is we are just not putting anything there. Well, since that's already above grass, and that's what water is basically you know it, it's above the grass except for like caves and and stuff of that nature but we're not getting into that yet uh, so what we can do right here instead of if yy is greater than or equal to alternate if it's not then just say else instance create instance create xx yy object water and yeah I forgot to tell you about that um, in our sprite blocks here, I just went ahead and I made a quick water sprite just to hook onto that. And then I made a object water sprite. I mean, it's the same exact thing. Uh, let's get rid of that. It's the same exact thing as all the other ones. And, you know, parent object block. And set the depth to negative a lot. All right. So if we just did that, else instance create XXYY water, and we ran it. As you can see, if we if we go a couple times, there's one water block there, and look at there. Look at right here. Here is a nice little sort of water, and then look at it right here. Boom! Check that out. It's like a nice little pond thingy majig, right? And and this way, I mean, again, this is all random. One thing I don't like about this though is that the grass still spawns underneath the dirt, which I don't like. I'll be honest with you. So. What I'm thinking of doing is saying, all right, in our object grass here, in the 
step event, put some code in. I'm just gonna say if, <clears throat> well, if place meeting x comma y minus 32 object water instance change object dirt true. So if our grass ever comes in contact with water above it, then we're just gonna change it to dirt because grass doesn't really survive under water. All right, so now if we ran it and we got a couple, and there you go, so now there's actually dirt underneath the water there. All right, so there we go. So now we have some water spawning, which is pretty dang awesome. All right. Let me go ahead and get rid of this object dirt here. Let me cut it and put it in the object block so we can just delete every every block we want. All right. So now we can delete this. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fill up, right? And that's what we need to do next. Basically, yeah, this is not very realistic, this water right here. So what we can do is go into the object water in the step event. Um, and this is going to be water physics. All right. So we're going to say if place free x minus 32 comma y, then we're going to instance create. x minus 32 comma y object water copy this and this is going to be very basic water physics at first right so we're not getting into like waterfall streams and stuff of that nature okay and then we're gonna have to do below so minus or I'm sorry plus 32 then we're just going to say plus 32 and we're not actually going to use up I don't know why I thought we would use up, but <laughs> so there we go. So there's some basic water physics. So if we go ahead and run it now, and again, that's very, very basic. I'm going to get into waterfall streams and stuff of that nature later on. But here we go. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, oh no. My computer's crashing. Don't do that code. Alrighty. And I am back. <laughs> That did not work out as well as I thought it would. So we're g don't do that code, and we're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take all of this, and in the create event, I'm gonna set an alarm. Alarm zero. I'm gonna equal it to 30. And in alarm zero, I'm gonna paste the code back and set alarm zero to equal 30 again. Don't do that yet because I need to test it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and run it. This should work though. Okay. Okay, it's not working. It's actually flooding everything in here. I don't know what the problem is actually. All right, and I am back after not knowing why that didn't work because the logic made sense. Uh, I went ahead and went back into alarm zero here and I just said, if not place meeting X minus 16, so we get the middle, Y object block, then instance create X minus 32, Y object water, and then set alarm zero back to 30. All right, so if you're not, uh, if it's not meeting with an object block since every block is parented to that so it's checking every block then then that means it's it's free all right so if we go ahead and run it just let it compile here and we get some water there we go now we have some water and if we make some little things here as you can see the water now flows down now it's kind of like an infinite water source but and it does not flow up. Obviously, that was right there, but. Yeah, so there we go. 
If you're gonna like, go and subscribe. Let me know what you want. You guys want to see next tutorial? Should I go? Should I start for the player? Should I start? I don't know. What should I do? All right. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.